G'day guys. I think you'll all agree that as athletes, it's always a bit of a challenge to find jeans that fit us well. So today, what I've decided to do is give you a few little tips and tricks that I use. Small bum, big quads, odd shaped calves, to try and find a pair of jeans that are going to fit me well. And if they don't, how can I shape them to fit my body the best? All right. Now, if you don't like buying skinny jeans and you want to find something that's a little bit more spacious around your body, I'd recommend first off buying raw denim. Raw denim is a little bit more on the expensive side, but it has a lot of benefits in the long run. They wear really, really well. They have a bit of a breaking in period, but they'll last you forever. Whereas with the, with the slim fit stretch jeans, they're filled with elastics and they don't last very long. I can tell you now I have maybe six pairs of jeans rip the crutch out of all of them. So, whip into uh, your local jean selling place and buy yourself a pair of raw denim jeans. Now what I normally do is I'll, I'll fit them just so I can just squeeze in around the waist. So a little bit on the tight side and they should, because they're gonna wear, they'll stretch between, I don't know, one, one and a half to two centimeters around the waist and then they'll give a lot in the legs. So raw denim, you bring them home and then I'll show you what happens next. You bung them on and then you head into the bathroom. All right, so we're in the bathroom. We've run our bath, make sure it's cold water. So not warm, because they'll shrink your jeans. You want it to be cold if you want them to get a little bit wider, a little bit bigger, a little bit more comfortable. Warm if you want to shrink them down. And then we're going to get in here, submerge up to about waist height, sit in there for about 15 minutes and read your favourite book. Here we go. Also after a little bit of time, because there's dye in the jeans, you can expect there to be a little bit of blue in the tub. Don't be alarmed, washes off easy as. Next step, once, you're, once you've had your bath and you're all nice and uh, cold, you need to get off as much excess water as you can, either use your hands or a towel. Okay, now the next part's really easy. It's what we're all used to. Loads of lunges, loads of squats, or you can take the jeans off altogether and just use your hands and put them inside the legs and just stretch them out. Stretch them out with your hands until you get them to the desired width that you want, and then just basically let them dry. Righto guys, so we're out of the bath. We're all nice and dry and warm again. Way of telling the fit until they're dry and you're putting them back on again. But if it doesn't work out, you just repeat the same process until you get them to the size that you actually want. Now bear in mind, there is still a break-in period with um, raw denim especially. So you're gonna be looking at about between one to three months to get them absolutely perfect. Uh, earlier I told you about a little trick if you've been out clubbing and uh, your jeans are a bit on the, on the nose, they smell like smoke. Don't wash them, just put them out or put them in the freezer or throw them out into the cold. Now here we've got a bunch of snow. So what we do is we take our jeans that are a bit on the nostril and we chuck them out into the snow like that and we leave them there overnight. Get them in the morning, they won't smell a thing and they'll keep the same fit that they had when you took them off. All right guys, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed my inside of tip on finding a pair of decent jeans that fit you or making them fit you. It might seem a little bit strange, but I have to tell you that if you've had the difficulty finding jeans that fit like I have, during the 20 odd years that I've been throwing discus, you'll understand. Till next time, see you later.